Good evening, everybody. Sorry for the delay. Tonight, we got the pleasure of having Jeff Gibby with us. Jeff and I are working together for oh, a good number of years now. Um, Metastock scanning software is probably the best you'll you'll come across. It's uh, and the, the uh, I always tell people the major flaw in in Metastock services or uh, other indicators is that they've got so many good indicators that it'd be the type of thing where on a rainy weekend you'd have to sit around or sit all day long and discover all the good things you have on Metastock software. So we started a few years ago on the idea of formulating in Metastock how to find the best signals and patterns. Now that's not necessarily meaning the candlestick signals themselves, which are the 12 signals. What we've done is we've taken those and combined them with not only our uh, our patterns that work well, but taking things like uh, the best friend signal or the uh, uh, the belt hold, the uh, left right combo, and fortunately Jeff had the patience to keep working with us or working with me uh, uh, through the years. That we've got a very good scanning package on Metastock where if you want to look for the uh, the best friend signals, it's already there. You can already plug it in. So, And the nice thing about uh, scanning is you can set up the stocks that you want in your universe. If you're an options trader, you maybe only want the stocks that have options, obviously. Or you may only <coughs> – whoops, he said gagging. <coughs> maybe you only want the stocks – that trade above 50 bucks a share and trade more than 500,000 shares a day. So you can create your own uh, 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 scans. Uh, JT, yes. The, the other big benefit of candle or of uh, Metastock is that if you're trading all the markets, like futures, uh, currencies, anything you can think of, Metastock's got it available. And I'll let uh, Jeff correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they've also got the Canadian markets, the uh, Asian markets, the European markets, everything is available. So <clears throat> it's one of the most complete and best uh, scanning software. So if I'm going out there and I'm trying to find the best software, we already got the, uh, the signals and patterns built in, whether you're looking for belt holds or the best friend signal got BCRX because today that had a nice best friend signal. So we know what to do with that. Oh, there you go. All right, 381,000 uh, trading instruments. So we're looking for, there's a slow curve with the best friend breakout um, today. Or we can look for the classic pattern, which is the fry pan bottom J hook. PG or PFGC today. Um, so what we're trying to uh, accomplish is um, instead of you spending all afternoon or all evening going through scanning uh, uh, situations or trying to scan for the best trades, it's already set up with Metastock. It's done in a matter of minutes every afternoon. And you've got – there Metastock's already got everything built in as far as the formulas, looking for the signals and patterns that we know are going to produce the higher profit setups. The J-hook pattern or a J-hook fry pan bottom that's in Build-A-Bear. Now, <laughs> I look at Build-A-Bear, and my first thought is, oh, why the heck would people be buying Build-A-Bear in heading into the summer? Well, the answer to that is I don't have to know why they're building uh, going into the summer. Somebody, This chart is telling us somebody's buying Build-A-Bear. Um, we want to participate in it. 
So I'm going to hand this off to Jeff because he's going to uh, pretty much uh, explain not only how you or how you can use the uh, programs, but how the programs are still a very educational process that if it's identifying a kicker signal and you don't know what a kicker signal is, you've got the description over to the right-hand side. So I'm already going into his uh, spiel. So uh, And QC, he'll tell you all that. It's a very, uh, yeah, very affordable software program and something that you, you'll use for the rest of your life. And basically, once we know the candlestick patterns are already built in and we know what the results of those patterns should be, at least it's now putting us into a situation where we know the probabilities are dramatically in our favor. So with that, I'm going to turn off my projector and let uh, Jeff come on. And again, Jeff, uh, welcome back to the Candlestick Forum. We get, I get constant uh, questions on which is the best uh, scanning software programs. Metastock's right there up on top. So with that, I'll log off, Jim, and we'll let uh, Jeff come on. All right. Thanks for having me, Steve. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get my monitor shared today, guys. I, I actually was just looking up Bitcoin. I didn't know if we covered it. So <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and kind of get into a little bit of some legal disclaimers and that kind of stuff. First of all, um, thanks for coming. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I want to uh, start here. I'll tell you just a little bit about myself. I uh, have been working with Metastock right now for, as of this year, 20 years solid. I will say a few things about the company. It's a lot of fun to work here. Um, we're all, uh, it seems like a little bit of a fraternity house. We just, uh, we all get along. Uh, it's a good environment, a good atmosphere, and we're real serious about what we do. Uh, and we've been working on a Metastock software program. And it's been a, a product that they've been working on since the 1980s. So the company's pretty well established. Uh, I started in inside sales. And uh, so if you had questions, uh, you, you would, there's a good chance you'd call me and I would talk to you a little bit about what the software is and what it did and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, for about the last 13 years, I've kind of worked primarily in business development and um, in different roles. I'm right now I'm the manager of business development and that's been a really rewarding experience for me. Um, it allowed, it's allowed me to work really personally and closely with uh, all of our dealers worldwide. Um, we have over a hundred international dealers that, that sell Metastock for us overseas. I'm planning a Europe trip for a little bit later to visit with a bunch of them. And um, it's also uh, been very, very beneficial for me because as part of the job, I get to work with people like Steve Bigelow. Um, and I would say uh, just a few things about Steve. Steve's been incredibly um, instrumental. Uh, the product we actually designed uh, and the product I'm going to show you today is actually one that I use in my trading every single week. I, I, I just to kind of give you a, a bit of a, uh, information about how I trade, I generally hold a position for uh, a few weeks. I'm generally not too actively trading. I, I generally trade maybe, I generally have a position open up to three at a time. And after I get done with that, with my responsibilities here at work uh, and the fact that I have up to four kids at, ha at the home, I just, that's about right for me. <laughs> so, um, but I'm very, very happy with the product we designed. I'm going to go ahead and read this little eagle disclaimer so I can get to a little bit more of an interesting screen. But that's a little bit of a background on kind of me. Um, so here we go. Today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the company software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information software and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. There we go. Uh, and then, of course, there's Steve Bigelow. Okay. Go ahead and uh, uh, got a message from Jim. Jim says my mic is not on. Is it on now, Jim? Can you guys hear me? Jim, 
Jim, I've gotten, yeah, I'm getting sound. Okay. Did you guys hear that legal disclaimer, or do you want me to repeat it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll go ahead and keep going. Hopefully that was pretty good. Um, so I just want to talk a little bit about the development with Steve. Steve's product, uh, initially, like one of the things that, like I said, I, I feel very lucky to work with Steve. Uh, his product is one of the few that I use very, very regularly. And it's one of the ones that I talk about almost every time I go and talk to traders. Um, and it's one that I, quite honestly, get a lot of really good feedback on. Um, I was in Toronto just a few weeks ago, uh, maybe a month ago right now, and uh, was showing Steve Bigelow's product because I like it so much. And a guy in the room just basically stood up and said, yeah, this is the best product you guys offer. Uh, you guys should talk a lot about it. And uh, that's not uncommon. I'll, I'll get them a lot in webinar rooms where people come in and kind of talk a little bit about how they're using CPS. Uh, it's, a, it's a really, really good product. I'm very, very proud of it. And the numbers have shown. Uh, basically, uh, the product has been rated, uh, it's one of our most successful products right now. But in addition to that, if you guys are familiar with Stocks and Commodities magazine, basically um, every year they do a, a best software, and they do a best add-on, and they do a best brokerage. And uh, they have all of the readers of their magazine vote on what their favorite is. And uh, Metastock, uh, just since we're going to talk a little bit about Metastock, and some of you may not be familiar with Metastock, Metastock's actually won best software in its price category for 24 years in a row. So, I mean, think about that for a second. That's every year since 1993 it's been rated number one. Uh, but the thing I'm pretty proud about is uh, they also have an add-on category. And Steve's product, the product we designed for Steve, has been rated as one of the best add-ons very consistently in the same magazine. And um, uh, it's only been around for about three or four years, uh, but it's a very, very popular product. And, and I'm pretty proud of the kind of the impact that it's had. So it did take us a little bit longer to design it and develop it out than I initially thought. Uh, I remember a lot of times uh, me and William, my programmer, and Steve were in a conference room trying to make sure that our five pound bottom was exactly right. We're very, very proud of the product. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about it. Um, the nice thing is we'll be able to spend plenty of time. We'll be able to look at plenty of stocks. And I'll just give you an idea of how it runs. So from a very broad perspective, let's go ahead and get over here. There's a picture of the box. It's called the Steve Bigelow's Candle Profit System. And what we did is we sat down and we figured out uh, these are the patterns that we recognize uh, in the software. So there's about... I, didn't, I forgot to count them before. There's about 21, 22 on this list. These are the ones that we identify automatically in the charting. And from here, I'm actually going to jump into the Metastock uh, software program. I've got a chart of the Dow Industrial Average open. I'm going to go ahead and close this down. And I'm just going to kind of basically kind of walk you through exactly how these will show up on the chart today. Uh, this is, um, I'm going to kind of come over here to a Dow weekly chart. Okay. Uh, so this is a weekly chart of the Dow Industrial Average. Uh, any patterns that it finds out of that list I just showed you is automatically going to label them on the chart. Okay? I've applied Steve's template to the chart, so you've got all of his moving averages, his T-line, the stochastics on the bottom. All of that is fairly easy to set up as soon as you kind of basically what we do, what we call it, apply the template, basically sets everything up for you, draws all the patterns and all that kind of stuff on here for you. And you'll notice it is identifying the pattern. Right here, you've got the doji at the top. You've got the left-right bearish combo. You've got the scoop pattern. Here, you've got another left-right. And one of the things that kind of really amazes me is how well these patterns actually perform on a chart. I mean, look at this belt hold that you got right before this rally. Look at this doji at the top and what happened after that. You'll notice that they're not all perfect, and so it's still important to use Steve's stop methods, which involve the T-line and uh, some other things. And, uh, and I'd recommend that you learn those patterns from Steve because he's a lot better about teaching them, but it identifies them on the chart for you. What we've also done, and this is automatic, you can also set up alerts so that it'll, if there's a chart that you're watching and it fires off an alert, like there's a pattern that happens, you can actually kind of get an alert on that. And of course you can do scanning, and we'll talk a little bit more, uh, we'll talk in a lot of detail about how you do scanning, but I kind of just wanted to show you the chart. 
Okay, so these, again, they're automatically identified. It sets up the indicators for you. And this over here is what we call our expert commentary window. Okay, and if you read over here right now, it's just a bunch of generic details because we don't actually have anything to talk about today. So we just talk to you about how awesome Steve is and, <laughs> and kind of give you a little bit of, that, of information. But it's all generic unless you see a pattern on the day. Okay, this commentary, you'll see this little black arrow on the chart. It just identifies exactly where that happened on the chart, okay, or exactly what commentary. Uh, right now it's looking at 526. This is 526. So right now my commentary is looking at this day, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually zoom in my chart. I kind of have a really good idea of how I want to zoom into the chart. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to look at kind of this election rally we had. And again, this is on a weekly basis. If I come back here over to this uh, left triangle bullish combo, one of the things that we wanted to do is because a lot of Metastock customers were familiar with, with uh, Steve, but a lot of them weren't as well. And one of the things that we kind of like to do in our product is actually kind of tell you exactly what the signal is, is doing and kind of how you could trade it and that kind of stuff. So if we had run a scan and we, we had found that the Dow Industrial Average on this day, again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to tell us. We could have run a scan to find it, which I'm going to show you exactly how to run a scan and how it works. But basically what it's going to do is it's going to say the left-right combo, uh, doji uh, followed by a bullish engulfing signal, so it's telling you what the pattern is, kind of gives you some advice on how to take advantage of that. Traders can take advantage of this signal and look to go long on this uh, left-right bullish combo with prices in the oversold area, so it's telling you to look for your stochastics and make sure in the, in the oversold area. Uh, this isn't necessary, but that's nice. A doji forms followed by a bullish engulfing signal setting the stage for a great trading opportunity. So here you have the doji, here you have that big bullish engulfing signal, and that's why it's actually identifying that on the chart for you. This was a great trade, by the way, actually. I actually took advantage of this one. A couple of weeks later, we had a slow curve. And with the slow curve, again, what we tried to do, because a lot of what we were looking for was fry pan bottoms as soakers and these doji kickers. Obviously, this pattern is really, really simple. It's really easy to code. But when you're looking at a slow curve, it's a little bit more of a kind of a tricky process because how much of a curve do you want? It's a little bit, it's not like saying, okay, was there a doji yesterday and a huge old cool thing. We spend a lot of time kind of getting those visual patterns exactly right. But here on the commentary, I've just moved it a couple of days. And you notice I can just move it to any day on the chart just by clicking right above the chart. I just moved it to today, and here it says the slow curve is formed. Again, your commentary comes in and says the slow curve produces a long trading opportunity as a slow upward curve re receives support from the key line. Here we give you the specific criteria that, that has there, and in certain patterns, it's not here, but in certain patterns, we'll actually have enhancements. So right here we say, okay, well, because a lot of times what you're going to do is you're going to run a scan. You're going to have a list of left-right bullish combos, so you're going to have a list of different patterns. And in this case, what it's going to say is, here's how you kind of identify which pattern or which of the left-right bullish combos you should look at. So here's the enhancements too. Here's, here's how you should kind of measure those against each other. The bigger the bullish engulfing signal, the more powerful the new uptrend will be. This is pretty big. That's a huge gap, huge move in price that day. If the signal occurs at a major technical average, like a moving average, a trend line, a Fibonacci number, et cetera, the number will be more powerful. So, you know, a major moving average, maybe like the T-line, happened right on the T-line. Major support level, here's a major support level. I'd say, well, I'd have to zoom out a little bit. Let's say right here is the lowest level of the chart, so I'd, I'd kind of call that a support level. Of course, you could go in there and drop Fibonacci's as well and that kind of stuff, but this is a a signal that came in very, very clear on that particular week. Okay, and it is a weekly chart. Uh, we can go down and drill into the daily and the intraday. You can apply this to any time frame that you want if you have MetaStock RT. Uh, but for the example I wanted to show, it was just basically the uh, the daily chart. Oh, JT asked, will it work on intraday charts? Yes, it will. Um, uh, Paul asked a question on making the screen bigger, and Eric answered. Thank you for the help, Eric. I appreciate it. Hmm. Uh, the chart is too small to look at what you're explaining. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually have a fix for that. I can kind of show you what the commentaries look like, and I know exactly how to do that. Just give me a second. 
Maybe. Ooh, okay. So here we've got a bit of a, I don't think I want to do this actually, it's kind of messing everything up. I hope I can figure out how to get out of it. But right here it's saying, okay, here's a specific criteria that created this alert. Stochastics below 20. Here's the enhancements. It's all kind of spelled out for you. Now let me see if I can get out of this. I don't think I'm brave enough to continue to use it. <laughs> let's see. Let's go. Let's see. In the, okay. Let's just close it. Okay. Got a little bit nervous there. Uh, Jamie said. Uh, that's no good. I agree with you. And plus, I got really, really nervous about it. So, <laughs> so we'll go ahead. And we'll leave it where it's at. I'm going to leave it in the. I'll just. I can actually make this text bigger, actually, so you can see it a little bit better. Um, and we're going to kind of go into um, kind of how to run the scans now. Okay. So one of the things uh, with Metastock, it is a big toolbox. Um, people get it for a lot of different reasons, and we're really going to kind of narrow into kind of why you would use it with CPS. And so charting in that expert advisor, the alert capabilities is a, a huge part of it, but the ability to go through pretty much any stock that you're interested in and, and identify exactly what trades are coming out of it is, is something that we do really, really well on just about any market on earth. So right here, I've opened up our power console. And don't worry, I, I, uh, if you do buy this, I, there's actually a 42-minute video that's going to come with it that shows you exactly how to do what I'm doing. So, uh, But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on the scan button here. okay? And um, this will bring up a list of all the scans. Now, you can create your own scans in Metastock, and I've built a lot of them over the years. Remember, I've been working here for about 20 years. I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a very big power user of the software. But when you install CPS, probably pretty close to the top of your list is going to be this CPS, which stands for Candle Profit Systems. And you're going to have basically, uh, you can run all of these at the same time. You just put a little bit of a check mark here in the ones that you want to run. And then down here, uh, and if you hover over it, basically it's going to tell you what you're looking for. And you may not be able to see this. It might be small, but it basically just says the Doji Dynamite looks for the following patterns. It looks for the Doji at the top. The Doji best friend, which happens to be my, one of my favorite signals, the left-right bullish and bearish combo, and a series of Doji bullish or bearish. Okay, the J hooks. If I hover over that, what we did was we kind of divided them up into patterns. But this looks for your uh, J hook and your fry pan bottom with the J hook. Okay, uh, this one's your power signals. It's going to look for all of your flutter kickers, and this is the price patterns. Okay. You'll notice that there's a couple of universe scans right here. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what those do. These ones, uh, the way I would recommend in, uh, that you do them, is if you're trading uh, optionable stocks, this is something, the reason that these kind of got packaged up as kind of like a bonus indicator, is Steve and I were actually kind of putting some lists together um, after we created this product. And we basically said, it kind of came up with some criteria. Like if you're looking at, um, all of the optionable stocks, for example, right? Uh, there's about 4,300 optionable stocks right now, okay? And some of those you're just not going to want to trade, you know? So what we did was we put together a bit of a universe filter that will go, go through that list, and it'll basically weed out all the stocks that are below $5, okay, and have low volume. Uh, I think the volume that we're looking for in this scan was uh, anything less than half a million shares a day. Or I should say a bar. Okay, so if you basically you can run these, you run them about once or twice a month. You save the list, and then you just run your scans against that list every day. Okay, the CPS Universe Oversold. What it does is it does exactly the same thing, but it also adds the criteria that um, uh, it'll look, it'll weed out any stocks that not are, are not currently oversold. Okay, so again, what you do is you can pick one of these, you can run it against a huge list of stocks. And just build a watch list for what you're interested in, okay? Um, and, and it's just a way to build a pre-filter list. So what I've got selected right here is I've got the Doji Dynamite. It's going to run all four of these scans for me, okay? Now, one of the things that uh, is kind of a blessing for us is the amount of data that we've got. As I kind of typed earlier a little bit cheekily, we actually cover, if you look right here, this is, this is a huge number, 381,847 securities. And what that means is if you're in, in Asia and you want to trade this against an Asian stock, 
Well, I can just drill into Asian. I have Australian. I have uh, uh, the Ho Chi Minh. I'm looking at one for ones I can say easily. The Hong Kong Stock Exchange, the Indian Asian Stock Exchange, whatever uh, I'm kind of interested in that. Here I've got Europe. If you're interested in London, you can do London. You can do North. Uh, um, and uh, there's just a ton of exchanges. And we've, we've tried to organize this in a way that you can find it pretty easily. And that's one of the things I like about Meta, uh, the way they've got it organized. If I want to just run a scan in North America, I know I just have to drill into this. I'm going to come down to U.S. optionable stocks, and I've got a list there. Maybe you're interested in ETFs. I, uh, well, okay. You put a check mark in the ones that you want to scan against, and that's literally all you have to do. Okay? Um, there's some other things that you might be interested in. You might be a person that's interested in Forex or futures, right? But here's the list of futures. You just find the exchange. You run the scan against it, right? If you're interested in Forex, we have all the – we have basically divided that up into major pairs, which is what we consider the 36 major pairs, and then all of the pairs that, offer, that, for, that Reuters offers, which there's about 332 of them. Uh, so you can basically come in and just select – the other thing I like about this is if you run the same exploration every day, it's going to give you the, uh, it's going to remember that. So when I ran this a little bit earlier, I ran it against the optional stocks. I ran this stock. If you're running the same exploration, like Steve's exploration every day, you just basically have to come in here and click on start scan. Uh, you don't have to make any changes unless you want to make changes to what you did yesterday. Okay. Right here I've got um, load, uh, right here on the data loading, for the most part you can do load minimum records. Uh, I was doing some a little bit of testing and I was loading a few more records than necessary. But like using load minimum records, you're going to load in less data than, than uh, which will make your scan run a little bit faster. Okay. You can also scan on other increments. So, you know, daily is the scan that I've got this set to run on, but if you have Metastock real time, uh, you can scan intraday period periodicities. The defaults are one minute, five minute, ten minute, thirty minute, sixty, and two forty. You can also do daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, and a custom time frame if you want to. Okay, and you'll see this is really, really pretty easy to use. Um, what I did in the training video to make it a little bit longer was I actually kind of gave best practice as I tried to sit down and talk about things that I learned over the years just to make the process a bit easier. Okay. Uh, if I'm ready, I can go ahead and click on the Start Exploration. It will run through and run a scan. I pre-ran the scan, though. I want to show you what the scan report looks like. So I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to open up the report that will pop up. This was the Doji Dynamite pattern. I, I scanned it at 5.03 p.m. my time, so I just barely got done with it. I, well, uh, I just did it right as we were getting ready today. But here uh, you've got the stocks that met the criteria. There's some questions coming in. I'm going to come back and talk about the, uh, or go through the questions in just a second. Right here we've got the doji tops, okay? Here we've got the doji best friends. You've got your left, right bullish, your left, right bearish, and your series of bull, series of bear. Series of bear, series of bullish, okay? The way you read this is if it, this has a one in the doji at the top pattern, it means it has that pattern for the day, right? If I look at the doji best friend pattern, okay, I, all of these stocks that have a one in them, it have a doji best friend pattern for the day. Okay, here you've got left, right, bullish. You kind of get the idea. Let me take some questions. Uh, TZ says oversold. If I miss your question too, um, let me know. Uh, I'll try and take all of them. <laughs> uh, oversold based on uh, what TZ says. That's basically the stochastic uh, is what uh, is what Steve uses. Okay. Ian says, I already have the software and I love it. When I tick several checkboxes, only the last checkbox scans come up on the screen. Am I doing something wrong? Hmm. Uh, well, Ian, Ian, thank you for using the software. Um, when I tick several bo checkboxes, only the last checkbox scans come Oh, okay. Uh, um, yes, it's only going to show you the last one that it did. What you want to do, Ian, if you have a little R here, it means there's a report ready that you haven't looked at. So if you want to go look at the other ones, just go, go ahead and right-click on here and go to Report, and you can look at the other scan results. I had to read that a couple times to understand it. Is the data provided real-time, intraday, delayed, or end of day? We have offered two packages. We have a full real-time package, as well as a, uh, uh, we used to call it end of day. Um, but 
end of day is not really accurate anymore because it updates every hour. So I'll go through that in a little bit more detail. Um, it says, do you provide tick data? Yeah, we get all of our data from Reuters. Um, in case you're not familiar with Reuters, I'm going to talk about Reuters for just a second. Reuters is a huge company. They have about $19 billion in revenue. Uh, according to the last financial statement that I looked at, which was albeit a few years ago, um, you probably, uh, when you look at newspapers, you see contributed by Reuters or photo by Reuters or whatever. Uh, most of their business, they employ about 30,000 reporters uh, globally, and they have a lot of consultants and things like that. Most of their business is actually competing with Bloomberg. Their core business, though, 90% of their revenues is actually selling the news and the information and the services that they uh, uh, to real-time traders. So 90% of $19 billion is basically a pretty big number. They have a lot of bank clients. We basically, what we do is we have an arrangement with them where we actually package up their news and their data, uh, and we use it to power a Metastock program. Now with DC, we actually just offer their, the data, basically the way the, the daily program works is every hour we, we refresh the data on the screens so that you can run it during the day. With the real-time program, we white-label their institutional premium product that they call Icon, uh, and it just comes as part of the real-time subscription. And that's actually pretty huge because they charge about $1,200, $1,300 a month as a starting price for Icon. And uh, we get a lot of subscribers that just really want good access to good market data, good news, good fundamentals. But they're not a bank, so they can qualify to get that information from us. So we have a really good relationship with Reuters. Um, we used to be owned by Reuters, as a matter of fact. Emmett says, uh, hello, Gibby, as a day trader, do you use, I do not day trade. <laughs> do you use one or five minute charts? Um, I don't day trade. I actually look at primarily daily charts personally. And the reason for that is, is I kind of work a lot. And I also have a very full-time obligations at home. And so for me, treating two or three positions at a time was very, very comfortable. I'd say if you're looking to do tra real-time trading, um, you definitely can do this on an intraday basis. I generally say uh, that you should look at about a 60-minute chart. Or, uh, you know, maybe be a uh, if you're not a member of Steve's room, talk to Steve a little bit about how. He does it. I'm not a hyperactive trader, though, by any stretch of the imagination, so I wouldn't want to say that I am. Okay. Uh, Carol says, so all of the text explaining the patterns is there for everyone? Yeah, for every single chart uh, and for every single pattern. Anytime you see a pattern on the chart, now those, uh, here's the list again. You guys have good questions. Thank you. Here's the list of the patterns we're identifying again, just so you can kind of see. If you scan for the fry pan bottom and you open up the fry pan bottom, it's going to basically tell you this is what a fry pan bottom is. Here's how you could trade it. And in, 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 in a lot of cases, it'll give you specific enhancements or things to look for. Okay. You're welcome, Ian. Uh, if you have more questions, um, type them in again, okay? Uh, and we'll go through them. Okay. So let's go ahead and I just want to kind of want to show you it's actually kind of thumbing through this, and I usually go in and just pick uh, some examples. But I can come here to the charting tab, and we can kind of take a look at the way these appear. And I feel very comfortable doing that. You'll notice right here, I've come to the charting tab. We also, in case you're interested, we also do a, have a really good system tester in Metastock. System tests allow you to go in and test trading ideas. We're not going to talk a lot about it. We also have our patent, pended, patent pending forecaster model. And it's actually really, really cool. If you, uh, it uses a lot of statistical analysis to kind of draw and try and anticipate what's going to happen on a chart using what's happened in the past. And those are really, really cool tools that kind of get us a little bit off topic today. But uh, these are what the other tools do. This is a, probably one of the best testers available. It'll allow you to test trading ideas against all of the, op uh, all of the stocks that you're interested in, identify which ones work, which ones don't work, and um, this one allows you to actually kind of go in and say, well, every time there was like a specific pattern on the chart, uh, what happened afterwards? And it does a lot of statistical forecast analysis for it. 
Okay, but let's go ahead and kind of go back to the charting template, and I kind of want to get really specific. Right here, you'll notice one of the lists, the very last list, is the last exploration results. And the last exploration I ran was the um, CPS scan. Okay. Right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this periodicity of daily. Again, you can change that. You probably want to do it to the, to the in increment in which you scanned against. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do daily, because that's where I ran my scan was against daily chart. I'm going to go up ahead and apply this template. Okay. So when you're new to Metastock, uh, and you're trying to use Steve stuff, and I do go into a lot of detail in the recorded training that comes with this step-by-step, uh, -step, how to save lists out, that kind of stuff. But I'm going to apply a template. I'm going to do CPS Bigelow Chart View. There's a whole bunch of templates you can use in here. The one you're going to want to do is CPS Bigelow Chart View, and you go ahead and click on Open the Chart. Okay. So let's just look at a few of the, uh, of the, the stocks that came in yesterday kind of go through kind of a, a bit of a scenario of just kind of what what you could potentially look at tomorrow. Okay. So again, every one that we're going to look at is going to have a pattern today because that's what we scan for, right? And again, you'll notice uh, some really good signals and uh, you'll notice some that don't work out. That's just kind of the way that it works. The thing that impresses me is how often they do work out. I mean, look at this series of doji that you're getting. We don't know what's going to happen here on the last right, but if we just look at the last few patterns here, here you had a doji at the top. Here you had a five on bottom before a big move. You had a doji at the top right before a pretty good sell-off. You had this cradle pattern. You had this series of doji patterns that happened right before it went down into this cradle pattern. These things are really good at identifying kind of these intermediate term moves. Okay. And so we did scan, and we knew there was a we knew there was going to be a pattern. This, the pattern that happened today was this series of doji bulge. Okay, what does that mean? Well, and how do you use it? Well, you can take advantage of a uh, long position here. Let me make this bigger for you. Upon the formation of this price breaking out above the upside with excessive strength, a buy stop above the top of the doji's trading range is an effective entry point. So what did that just say? Okay, well, we have some really good momentum had a series of indecision followed by a very big bull stepping in to kind of take advantage of it. Now, how are we going to take advantage of that? Well, we could go ahead and take a long position, and where are we going to place our stop? We're going to place our stop right below the doji uh, that formed the pattern, so right here. Or if you want to be a little bit more conservative, you could go about right here. Okay? Okay? So it's telling you, what we try and do is kind of, because... Because I don't know if you, how long you've been subscribing to Steve, or we also invited the Metastock customers here. Um, but what we try and do is remind you what the pattern is and remind you how you can kind of take advantage of it. So you see this on the chart. We try and give you some pretty solid advice on how to take advantage of that. And I think we do. This commentary feature is one of my favorite things in Metastock. It really kind of allows us to tell you some decent advice. Okay. Here's a specific criteria that form that, so you can kind of go in and say, okay, here's what's causing this to draw on the chart. Okay. If I, now, I did open this from a specific list. Remember, the list that I did was um, the results of the last scan, right? Yeah, so if I wanted to go to the next stock on the list, again, what I want to do is I want to be able to go through, and even though it eliminated 98% of the stocks, uh, it probably still gave us uh, this. Uh, I started with 4,500, so it eliminated 98% of the stocks already. But now what I want to do is go in here and figure out the ones that I like best, right? So what I'm gonna, I can do is I, right here on the bottom of the chart, I, there's a button here. If I hover over it, it'll actually say next instrument. And if I just click on that button, it's going to take me to the next stock in that list. In that particular case, it was Acadia Pharmacy, okay? Here we had a left-right bullish combo pattern. I'm not going to read the commentary for you because uh, reading out loud will get old after a little bit of a time. But again, look at the kind of the patterns that have kind of formed in the past. Here we have your left-right bullish combo. Here was one that didn't work. Again, you're going to want to use the T-line as a stop. Uh, but again, it's showing some very good dynamic patterns. And you, it, this is the process that you go through on a daily basis. Click on the next instrument. This, the next one is Assurant. Look at this T-line crunch that happened about a week or two ago. Look at this bull kicker right before that T-line crunch. Uh, he had a left-right bearish combo that kind of tapered out but didn't work out so great. But you can see why people like this. A lot of the signals that are coming back 
are ones that have really, really worked out well, at least in the past. We don't know how they're going to work out from this time going forward. But this is literally the process that I go through. I'll go through the 20 or 30 that come back on this list. I'll uh, jot down uh, on, uh, I'll actually, what I'll do actually to be really specific about it is I'll go right here. I'll add the ones that I like to a list. And then I'll kind of go through it again and narrow it down to two or three that I want to actually, that I really, really feel good about. Okay? Uh, and then you can just repeat the process. You click on next, it's going to take you to the next chart. And all of these, what, what it's done, uh, somebody said this really funny in a pretty unique way when we were doing a, 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 one of our online summits a few years ago. He said, so Metis talks like the garbage man. He takes out all the trash and you can just look at the opportunity. And I was like, that's a great way to look at it. It, it, it does do a really good job of actually kind of identifying that for you. Um, I, I'm coming back to some questions here. I use Candle software. I like that I can take different scans and modify the filters to suit my trading tra 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 style title. When will you and Steve create an upgrade? Well, that's a really interesting question. I'm <laughs> teasing. Because I've thought about it before. Obviously, if you have a product that's been a, one of the most successful products, you kind of want to say, well, how can we make it a little bit better? And I don't know how we can actually improve upon it. I thought maybe we could add some forecast patterns to it and that kind of stuff. Um, but I think once we kind of figure out some really cool things to add that Steve's using, we'll create an upgrade for it. Thanks for using it too, by the way. Uh, Bill L says, Doji at the top, does it have to break the T line before the t at the top is displayed? It does not. Okay. So right here you had a Doji at the top. Here is a good example of it. It did come down. Well, actually, no. Let me look at the specific criteria. I don't want to misspeak this. Okay. So I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit. The specific criteria are the prices are at an overbought area, stochastics above 80. This is preferable but not a requirement. So if it's not above 80, it just uh, that's why a doji or spinning top forms the next day prices gap down below any of the previous day's trading range so it doesn't have to be below the t-line however if the day after i'm going to zoom this in a little bit more if the day after the doji gap down below the t-line or closes below the t-line the higher the probability of, of a strong downtrend is so there's your answer okay uh, um, professional Guild, I'm sure that's your real name, <laughs> can you scan a universe of stocks for a specific pattern, such as a bull kicker? Does the scanner work in real time or just end of day? You can scan any time frame. If you have Metastock, you can run this in either version. I'm going to talk a, a little bit more about pricing in just a second. But if you have the DC version of Metastock, that's our $59 per month prop. Okay? It updates once an hour, and it only looks at daily charts. Okay. So we used to call it Metastock end of day, but a few um, years ago we pushed everything uh, on in terms of an hourly update. So even if you have the DC version of the program, uh, you can run a scan in the middle of the day and see if anything's triggered. Uh, it's just going to be on an, a, a bar that's updated up to the last hour. Okay. If you have the full real time, you can run it on uh, daily charts, uh, just like you can on daily or weekly or monthly like you can on daily, but you'll also have access to intraday data, which means you can run it on 5-minute, 30-minute, 60-minute tick charts, um, whatever you want. Uh, I wouldn't do it on tick charts, but you might want to do it on multiple tick charts, which is something you can do in Metastock. Okay? Did that answer your question? If not, let me know. Um, can you run your scans on any time frame? Yeah. Uh, do you provide current news on your charts? Uh, in DC, uh, not on the charts themselves. Um, uh, I'm hoping that we implement that uh, in 16, because we have a lot of really cool information we could display with our partnership with Reuters. Uh, but if you have DC version of the Metastock program, what you can do is you can right-click here, and you can go to this um, uh, research and quotes, and you can go in and look at current news. And this just takes you up to a Reuters web page, or look at options, or that kind of stuff. It's not displayed on the chart, but it is available for you. And it is did news and information straight from Reuters. So that's a really good um, question. 
is this a scanning software or is it uh, only or is it a trading platform? It doesn't trade for you, a lot, uh, so you can use whatever broker you want, and we're not going to ask you to fund a trading account for, you know, uh, move your money all over the place. What is a T-line? Oh, man. What happened to the video? I don't know. It looks like it turned itself off. Okay. Hopefully that hasn't been going on for too long. <laughs> Yeah, I just turned it back on. Uh, earlier, um, earlier, my microphone just shut itself off for no reason. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can see it's back on. Let's see. Let me go back up here a little bit. Uh, uh, when TC asks, his, what is the T-line? T-line is actually uh, Steve's um, indicator. Uh, basically, uh, to put it simply, it's a moving average, uh, uh, eight, eight period exponential moving average uh, of the close. Okay. And that's all. And he really likes that T-line. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and move over here. One of the things is, is I normally, um, I normally don't talk about this for very long, so I'm going into a little bit more detail. Hopefully it's not too boring <laughs> for you. So with the, with the product itself, for explorations, you get the Doji Dynamite, the J-hook patterns, the power signals, the price patterns. And we're going to throw in as a bonus today those pre-filter explorations. They're a little bit of a separate download. Uh, so we'll sh send a link to you on how to grab those. Okay? We talked about a lot of these slides. I actually prefer not to be in a PowerPoint when I'm talking about the program. Okay? Um, again, the Metastock program, actually this slide should say 24. I actually went and looked at the number the other day. And I'm just going to correct it right here on the fly. There we go. 24 years in a row. <laughs> it's been rated number one. And um, we really appreciate all the users of Metastock that are out there that keep voting for us and that kind of stuff. Um, to kind of just give you an overview of Metastock, you know, one of the things that I really, really, uh, the, the main people, people, the main reason people pick it up is um, it does a really, they say to focus on what works well for you, right? Or focus on your strengths. And what we've really tried to do is just develop a software program that's easy to use, that's easy to customize, that you can go in and use to scan products every day. And one of the main things that we keep in mind while we do development on software is um, we really don't want you to be kind of focused on how to do specific things in the program. We want you to be able to focus in on your training. And um, uh, we're really, really proud of that rating, but we're also proud of a lot of other key metrics. Like uh, a lot of our, our users have been with us for more than 10 or 15 years. I mean, it's just such a core database. So for all of you to, that are people that are using this, like, I really, really appreciate it. Okay. Um, the package offer that I'm going to do today is basically the candle profit systems by itself is $399. Personally, I believe that it's underpriced. I'm going to actually go back to Omnovia here and just make sure I can see uh, if you guys have problems seeing this and that kind of stuff. I think it's a little bit underpriced. It's normally like $399. That's it. It's a one-time cost. That's not a monthly cost. I get that question all the time. Is that every month? No, no, you pay for it, you own it, and that's all you have to do, okay? If you don't have Metastock, we'll give you free access to a Metastock subscription trial. We'll include data with that, okay? The pricing uh, for the, the subscription options to go through that really, really specifically is after your free month if you do Metastock DC. Metastock DC is uh, 59 bucks a month, okay? So you pay $59 per month. That includes the software pro program. It includes all upgrades that we do. And it includes one region of data. The data, is, uh, basically, you'll probably only need one region anyway. But the data regions, there's three of them globally. There's North and South America, Asia Pacific. And then the third and final region is Europe, Middle East, and Asia. Okay. So we'll give you access to Metastock for a month to evaluate it. Um, if you like it, you keep it. We have the real-time version of the program, which is actually $250. Now, that includes Metastock real-time, which means you can scan everything real-time during the day. It also includes that icon product that I kind of talked a little bit about earlier that Reuters actually charges about $1,200. Um, 
it's a program that they've invested more than a billion dollars into research and development on. And if you like news, you like real-time news, you like good news, um, you're going to love Icon. <laughs> or we call it Metastar Zenith because we've white labeled it. But it's pretty much the same product that they sell to Complete Straight with Bloomberg. Okay. We'll also make sure you get a link to the Steve Bigelow's bonus pre-filter explorations, which are those just those universe creation tools. Uh, as an added bonus, I usually don't do this, but we just ran a promotion uh, a few weeks ago with Stocks and Commodities magazine. And what I'm not going to do is I'm going to actually give you a two-year free subscription with Stocks and Commodities if you do this. That by itself is worth about 200 bucks, by the way. It's roughly about, I looked up the pricing earlier, uh, and uh, it's, I think it was $178 or $198 for two years. No, it was $176, something like that. We also, one of the things that you like about this is we do want you to keep the software. We do want you to subscribe to the software. But we're going to give you a 30-day money-back guarantee on, it, on this package. So what that means is you can go in, you can go to the training session that I recorded that you can play around with all of the tools and all of the software. And if you don't agree that it's going to help you with finding better trades and kind of get, making more productive use of your time when you're trading, uh, your risk is nothing. And uh, I, would, I was going to cheekily say that's the only type of risk reward that you're going to get uh, outside of candle profit system. But, not, uh, but I, I, I'm kidding. It's a perfect risk reward scenario. You get access to it. You get access to the software that's been rated number one every year since 1994. And I recommend it. Uh, it's definitely something that's been very, very helpful for me. And I hear that from a, a lot of our customers, like I said at the beginning. Okay. So give us a call. You, you can do this online, or you can do this. Uh, we have sales guys that are here to help. They can answer any questions that maybe I missed. I'm going to spend some time answering questions. Uh, but you can give us a call to order this at 800-882-3040. If you're international and you want to just chat with a sales rep, you can do that at metastock.com forward slash sales chat. Okay. One of the things um, that I would recommend that you do when you're talking to your sales guy is ask him to send you the link for the pre-filter scan. Okay. I'm going to send it to everybody on Tuesday when everybody gets back from Memorial Day weekend, uh, but they can send it to you right now. So... Uh, 1-800-882-3040 for that. Let me take a look at some more questions. All right, Jim asked a question. Maybe I answered this, but we'll go through it again. Rick says, Rick asks, Metastock is a charting and analytical software package with a one-time cost or monthly data feed, depending on what the client chooses. There are actually some options um, available. Um, the one that I, I talk a lot about is the subscription option for Metastock because we can give you a free trial to that. You can pay $59 per month to get Metastock DC on a monthly basis, and we'll give you a free month of that for free. Okay? Um, you can do the real-time version of the program, which is $250 per month, and you can get the first month for free with this offer. Okay? Um, if, depending on what you trade, and this is why I like to, to talk through your purchase options with the sales guy, because if you have a data provider already that's offering end-of-day data, you might be able to use it with Metastock. And in that case, it would make sense to do a one-time cost purchase of the program, which uh, for DC is $1,300, or I'm sorry, $499 is a one-time cost. Okay? So, um, but they can talk to you about what you're trading. Sometimes that makes sense if you're just doing stocks. Uh, it's, it, it sometimes makes sense if you have a compatible data feed that you can feed into Metastock. But the reason I like to talk about the subscriptions op options are is we can kind of get you set up with the program. Uh, we can do that at no cost to you, and you can evaluate it. And if it helps you make money, it helps you be more productive in the market, you can uh, look into the purchase options later. But they can go through what you're trading. And if you're doing stocks and futures, for example, and you're looking at the DC version of the program, it makes sense to actually stay on the subscription if you get the data through Reuters. Okay. Hopefully that um, answered the question. Carol says, I don't understand some of this. What is the difference between $299 and $49 a month? Actually, $59, just to make sure that I'm being as specific as possible. This, is, this $299 is a one-time cost, and that buys you this Steve Bigelow's Candle Profit System, 
which is a Metastock add-on. Okay? And if you want to continue to use Metastock after you've had a chance to evaluate it, uh, understand for yourself why it's been rated so highly for so long, um, then you'll pay $59 per month after that. Did that clear it up uh, for you, Carol? DC Mark stands for daily charts. It's the version of the program that updates hourly or, uh, and it looks at daily or weekly or monthly. So we call it Metastock DC. We used to call it Metastock end of day, but we decided to change the name after we started updating it hourly. And then the other version is re RT, what we call RT, which means real time. And uh, that's the one that's $250 a month. Charlie, you can use it with TradeStation data. Um, the, the way that I looked at that with the way TradeStation managed data, and hopefully they've actually improved it in the past, but the way that they manage data, and it has been many years since I actually looked at it, uh, some of our reps might be a little bit better at answering this question, but you had to download one data file at a time. So it was really, really a pain in the butt. I'm sure they've probably improved it in the five or six years since I've looked at it, though. You can also, as Steve said, you can also purchase this online at metastock.com slash candlestick forum A. Thanks for that, Steve. And he also put at the end of that 11.42 a.m. It does not work real time with these signals, Mike. Uh, it does not, Jim. Uh, we developed it and designed it for Metastock. But if you're using uh, NinjaTrader, I'd encourage you to try out Metastock. Um, it's a little bit of a different focus. Um, NinjaTrader is a really good trading application. Um, I think where we kind of uh, uh, excel is actually in terms of the scanning and the finding the opportunities and then spelling them out exactly on the chart for you. Uh, I'm not going to bad math NinjaTrader. It's a great platform for what it does. Um, and again, it's about focusing on kind of what the strengths are and I think what you like about Metastock is really the, the ability to take a list of 5,000 down to a list of about 20 or 30 um, very, very easily and the testing and kind of the ease of use with the software as well. Uh, it does not interface with Linker Swim Cal. Um, however, most of, I actually uh, have TD Ameritrade as my brokerage account and I love it for place and trades, uh, but it does not work in Thinkorswim. All right, that seems like it's the end of the questions. Uh, Lee H. says, can Metastock be integrated with TC2000? You betcha. <laughs> I did that in a Sarah Palin way. <laughs> you betcha. Um, so with TC2000, what you need to do is their current version does not uh, download data and store it locally on your hard drive. You can download an older version of TC2000 just for the process or just for the ability to download and store that data locally. They'll, they'll store the data locally. You can do that for free, by the way. They'll store data directly in the Metastock format. So once you download the product and kind of have it set up, it's actually very, very easy to do. Um, uh, uh, James asked a question that I'm going to kind of go into. Uh, I, I just put my email address. If you have questions about kind of the product I missed today, um, I'll go ahead and let me know. What the CPS does really good, James, is it identifies um, Steve's patterns. Okay. So it'll show uh, left, right, bearish kicker, doji at the top, silkers, bear kickers. And these are fully customized for what Steve does. There is a very, very cool expert advisor in Metastock that comes as part of kind of the base package. And it'll actually kind of identify more of a single day pattern. I'll show that to you real quick. So I... Um, if we come in here to, um, it's an uh, expert called Equus Candlesticks, attach, close. This will actually identify like engulfing bowls and falling windows and engulfing bears. But these aren't optimized around uh, Steve's patterns, and they're not Steve's patterns. You just get single day pattern information. It's a really, really cool ex expert advisor. You'll have access to it, but you'll definitely want to get the CPS because it's the one that's going to fully integrate with uh, Steve's patterns. Okay, Carol asks, how do I get the type with the big low charts? Give us a call, 800-882-3040, uh, and just order this package. They're going to set you up for everything you need. If you need Metastock, they'll get a trial running for you. Um, 
they'll answer any questions that maybe I, I stumbled through today. Um, but they'll make sure that you're all set up and running. And one of the things that you also get is an access to a Metastock user. Uh, and this is pretty cool. It's, it's unlimited technical support. Okay. I actually am going to, I'm going to do something a little bit off the cuff right here. Okay. I'm going to move this window over here <laughs> real quick. I want to show you what one of our customers actually said today to me. I get these type of comments all of the time. Okay. But this one was today and I'd love to see him too. Okay. I was helping him out with some stuff. He had some questions for me. This is from Skype in case you, and I actually did ask his permission to show it today. So, but right here, this is one of our customers. Oh, I copied the wrong part. Let me do this again. I just want to take these two sentences off. Okay. Uh, this is me talking to him. Awesome. Thanks for using Metastock. I know you've been using it for a while. And he's off. It's the best support team in the world. And, and <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to use that tonight. And uh, he said it was fine. But it's not uncommon for me to get those type of compliment, uh, the compliments on our support team. If you have any questions, they're available. Um, you can send them an email. I'd recommend you chat online with them or call them because then they can kind of have more of a back and forth conversation with you. And I get these types of compliments all the time about our support team. Uh, just to kind of give you some information about that. Okay. Um, we have actually more people in our support department than we have in our sales and marketing team. And uh, again, all the, including today, we're the best support team in the world. So um, if you run into any issues, that's a resource that's available for you. Uh, you probably won't need it uh, because I am going to give you this access to this training session here. This session is actually me sitting down for 41 minutes talking to you about how to run scans, how to run the pre-filter list, how to save that list out, how to open the charts. And it's actually very, very simple. Uh, that part of it is probably about 20 minutes long. The other 20 minutes are here's things that I learned over the years of using Metastock to help you be more productive with it. So again, it's about 41 minutes long. And it's totally geared to new purchasers of Metastock that get it with the Candle Profit system add-on. Okay. And it's just totally included with the, uh, with the program. Let me see if there's any more questions. I think we're running to the end. Oh, Carol, you can talk to our support team. Let me be really specific here. You can talk to your support team any time you want to for as long as it takes. Okay. What I meant by 41 minutes, the instant access you're going to get to my training session that's pre-recorded is 41 minutes long. Okay. But if you ever have a question about Metastock, uh, you just call our support team. They're not going to put you on a timer. <laughs> They'll just help you out. Uh, Lauren says, I use TC2000. I think you said, you can use the software with TC2000. Uh, I called and talked to one of their reps. Okay, And what you uh, want to do is you want to go in and download, I think it was uh, TC2007. Okay, That will allow you to store the data locally. Okay, And once you have uh, it stored locally, um, you can just import it into Metastock uh, through a very, very simple process. And we do have videos that cover how to do that. Okay. Now, I want to be really, really specific so you're not a little disappointed. The videos show you how to use the local files and how to import them into Metastock and how to work with them. Um, the TC2000 part, TC2000 is pretty good. Um, if you need instructions and help on terms of downloading that old uh, or version of uh, TC2000, I think it was 7. It might have been nine. It's been a while since I've talked to him. So if you need instructions on how to do that, you want to call them. The guy I talked to was really, really awesome. He was really, really helpful. And he said, yep, this is exactly what you need to do. And I just said, hey, I'm a sales guy from Metastock. <laughs> and, uh, I want to know how hard it is to use your data with, because it's a question I get all the time. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's really easy. This is what customers are going to need to do. So uh, he, he was nice to me, and I, I, don't, uh, I wasn't even a customer. Paul says, uh, yes, Metastock support is the best in the industry. I agree. Well, Paul, I want to say thanks for using Metastock. Uh, the video is available. It, um, uh, um, it's on your My Downloads page as soon as, you, um, as soon as you sign up for the program, Carol. And you can go back and look at it at any time. It's a YouTube link. 
um, to an, uh, uh, a video that, that I recorded specifically for this purpose. And uh, so, yeah, you can pause it, you can rewatch it, you can go through it again. Uh, hopefully, I do a good enough a job in my step-by-step -step instructions that you don't need to watch it too many times. It is, it is a very, very simple process. Uh, yes, Paula, actually, um, that 41 minutes as of today, um, if you go up to metastock.com slash my downloads, um, what you'll be able to do is scroll down, and underneath the CPS download and the CPS manual, it'll say right there, a free 41-minute video is available. Click here to watch it. You're welcome, Carol. That's my job. <laughs> Thanks for your interest. Uh, Wendy, yeah, uh, let me type it in here again. I'll probably answer you tomorrow, uh, depending on if I need to do research. But I'm not very much behind right now, and uh, so uh, I should be able to get to you pretty quickly. You're welcome. All right, guys, I want to say thank you. I'm going to go home and play with, like, uh, the girls, or my little girls, I should say, <laughs> just, to, just so you don't get the wrong impression there. Uh, give us a call. We've got people here. They're going to be here as long as they need to be to kind of help you out. Don't wait too long, though. It's about 7 o'clock at night, and they, they usually go home at around 5. And uh, thanks for coming in today. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can do to help or that we can do to help you with your trading. And um, I'll see you at the next uh, event. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, everybody, I can't reiterate enough. Thank you, Steve. That yep, Metastock is probably the best software scanning technique out there. And as I always tell people, the major flaw of Metastock is that it has so much good stuff on there, we'll probably never never be able to use it all. But you always have everything you need for uh, uh, testing and improving your own, your own training. So with that, everybody have a good evening. Yep. Thank you, Jeff. And we'll see everybody in the chat rooms.